We have some patients who come in straight from the accident and emergency department who are really sick and need our care urgently and pretty much immediately. Uh, we might have a patient who's been on the ward for a period of time and become increasingly unwell and then needed a step up to critical care. Or we can have patients from theatres. They could be somebody who's having a major elective procedure who needs 24 or 48 hours of close monitoring and support and care post-operatively. Or they might have had an emergency surgical procedure and again need critical care support post-op. That's always been my passion is to support the nursing team and actually want them to develop further and have more autonomy and actually be able to represent their patients and their relatives. There's such an opportunity for learning working within a specialist area like critical care. The care that we deliver here is very intense, very, um, the nurses are very autonomous here. So they have to learn so many more skills than they would have learned on the ward and they build on their ward skills. So we take them from day one when they're complete beginners and we give them a supernumerary orientation programme and we very much mother them and see them through their first year. What attracted me to critical care was the autonomy you get as a nurse. You really get to learn everything about your patient and you get to work within the multidisciplinary team. You also get so much training as well, so the learning opportunities available. You get to do like your transfer training, you get to do advanced clinical skills. I'm currently also undertaking the ITU course as well. The senior team and the support we have from the clinical educators really enhance our practice and make us feel well supported. As nurses, we're, we're really passionate about patient care. Um, what critical care nursing gives you the opportunity to do is focus solely on critical care nursing on a one-to-one -one basis if you're working in the intensive care unit, on a two-to-one -one basis if you're working in the HCU unit. We're here primarily to assist the doctors with airway situations and emergencies. We also follow them down to A&E, go to a lot of rest calls throughout the hospital, as well as helping the nurses on the unit, putting in lines and helping with monitoring and other bits of equipment that are specialist to ITU. The Critical Care Outreach Team aims to provide support to um, ward staff and patients so specifically patients that are acutely deteriorating and to facilitate timely admission. Well, I've been in critical care in London for seven years and I felt that outreach was the perfect role to bridge the gap between an intensive care based practice and the wards so it feels to me like I'm able to use those skills that I gained in ITU bring them to the ward but also develop more skills because of that practice on the ward. It's nice to be in an environment where at the end of the day you're helping somebody to recover and get better. Some people like intensive care because they like the technical aspects of it. I'm a bit more interested in the experience for people um, and how we know that people who come through intensive care uh, can be at risk of post-traumatic stress disorder and of some long-term sequelae of intensive care. So actually putting the interventions in early to try and reduce that and support that is important. These people are at their most vulnerable that they're ever going to be and we can make a huge difference to that. Somebody's physical function is key to who they are as a person and that doesn't just start once they're not needing a ventilator anymore. So um, the earlier we can start that, the better their recovery and I think we can make the most difference to these people. We can get involved in everything from weaning them off the ventilator but also the physical side of that as well and getting them up and moving again and, and going from that point at which they're, they're really weak and unable to do very much for themselves at all to then getting them up and out of bed into a chair even when they're still all attached to their ventilator and everything and then moving on to getting them walking and then obviously then they're going off to the ward and hopefully being much more mobile. Moving. If patient care is your is your passion, your focus then that this is the place for you to work absolutely. Obviously we throw the relatives into that mix and there's a lot of sort of pastoral, a lot, a lot of care that goes into looking after the relatives as well so if, you, if that's your passion then absolutely this is this is the place for you to be. I love the patient care. I'm the type of sister that is very practical based, I'm not as much office based and I love the one-to-one -one care and the patient's journey is so important. 
from admission to discharge home and because this is intensive care and it is such a critical area that we have to make our patients feel comfortable and safe and I, I just love being that all-round nurse that I've always wanted to do since I was 15. Sometimes we can't any longer help our patients. We've done everything we can and we can't keep them alive anymore. But what we can then do is give them a peaceful death and we can also support the families and make sure the families understand why we've come to this point and actually support the families through that and actually can make a huge difference to the lives of that family if their loved one's death has been well managed and they felt well cared for, well supported and well listened to. So I take great pride in that and trying to make sure that we do the best for the patient and when we can't do that for them we do that for their family.